Hey guys, Evan here. How are you all doing today? So guys, today I'm bringing you another part of my warrior guides. Today's video is going to be based around macros. Now a lot of you have been asking me what my macros are. And I haven't made a video about it yet in Mill Warriors of Draenor. So today I'm making you a video guide. And this guide is going to be a little different to your normal macro guide. I'm actually going to be showing you detailed explanations of how I use some of my macros. Showing you examples and stuff like that. Just general all good things to help you improve your gameplay. Okay guys, so with that being said, let's first up get in straight into the macros. <laughs> okay, so first up we have is my tree series macro. And what this macro does is it will cancel our hand protection. Use your trinkets, whichever one you have equipped. Use your racial if you have it, if you're orc. Avatar and bloodbath, whichever you spec for. And potion and mugger power if you happen to have one in your inventory. And the reason you would have this macro is you can use it to force someone's trinket without having to pop wreck. You can also use it to force a paladin's bubble. I'm actually going to show you an example of that in a clip just right now. Okay, so here I charge the paladin. And in a second now, I put, I'm going to pop my one minute macro. I do, I pop it with Blade Storm and I get some damage pressure off here. Now, the paladin is going down really quickly as you can see. So the warlock feels he needs to peel. He's going to stun me here, which then stop. I trinket this. I then pop my parry just to reduce damage. Stomp out the warlock to reduce damage, damage on me. Managed to get the paladin's bubble here, which is pretty awesome. And then shatter it. And now I'm going to pop my Reconcist right now in a sec, after I fear the Warlock, kick the cast, end up killing the Paladin, we're in execute, and it's GG. Next up we have my Battle Stance and Defensive Stance macros, and what they are is mainly used for just showing tooltips. But I'll quickly show you an example of how you can use Defensive and Battle Stance. So in this clip here, I'm going to do a bit of damage to the Warrior, I'm going to Shockwave now, and I'm going to pop some CD, switch to Battle Stance, do a, a bit of a damage, forces the guy with the sword, and therefore costing him some CDs. Next thing we have is my engineering macro and what this macro does is it will use my goblin glider if I just click on it and if I use control click on it it will use my rock boots. Now basically the way this macro also works is if I'm using one or the other it will just cancel it for me and allow me to use the other one so it's pretty awesome like that. I'm going to show you a quick example of the macro in use here. I'm just going to blaze and boost out the way, use my goblin glider, cancel the boots and glide back in. Just a quick way to use it. <laughs> Next one up is Execute, and the reason I have this macro is you might want to cancel our Hand of Protection or Blade Storm. For instance, like if I charge in here, and get my procs, wait for my blade, my execute the proc. There we go, it's proc. A Blade Storm, I can cancel that and I can just execute. So it's a nice way to get your execute just in case you get someone in execute range after doing your Blade Storm. Next macro I have is my Focus Arena macro, since so Focus 1, 2, and 3 Arena. And this just basically allows you to switch between targets, allowing you to effectively change your focus mid-match. The next macro I have is this macro here, which is a garrison macro. Basically, you just remove the garrison button. You don't really need it for PP, but if you want it, there it is. <laughs> the next macro I have is my one-shot get wrecked nerd macro. And basically, what this does is it will cancel our hand of protection. It will cast recklessness, blood fury of your uh, orc and then it'll cast your trinket, avatar, any potions you've got, and bloodbath, if you're expect for it. I'll show you a quick example of me using this macro right now. Next tip we have is my life macro, and what this macro essentially does is, it has a bunch of modifiers in it. The non modifier is if I just click the button, the modifier alt if I click the button and alt and the modifier control if I click the button and control and basically if I just click on the button it will use rage regen I've used alt and the button will use bolt and rage regen and ryan cry and cancer blade storm and I use my health stone and if I use control it will just use rallying cry so as a quick example click on the button rage regen click on control rallying cry and if I was to click both it will use both if I had any health stones as well Next macro I have is my Sedgar macro, and just what basically do is it will use Mocking Banner if you happen to be protection, otherwise it will just safeguard to the nearest target. I'll show you guys a quick example of how to use safeguard effectively in Arena right now. So here I'm just going to safeguard my healer, knowing that the rogue is going to sap my healer in a second, and as he saps the healer, as you guys would see, I get the sap instead, which then actually allows me to make sure my healer is not CC'd and allows us to keep the team a lot less pressure on us and is a good way of keeping yourself alive in the process. 
Next macro I have is my shouting trial macro, and the reason you need a shouting trial macro is if you're in mid blade zone or where you have bop on you, this will allow you to remove it and then use remove their bop or Bryce block or whatever invulnerability they have. So for instance, let's say I just go blade zone here, and I want to shower, so just cancel it and it shower throws. Next macro I have is my shield barrier macro, and all it really does is if I happen to want to, like for instance, just get some rage and switch, it allows me to switch to defensive stance and use shield barrier, which is a really cool way to keep yourself alive. Next macro after that is my stuns macro, and what essentially this macro does is it will use shockwave, dragon roar, or stone bolt, depending on what your spec is. Next macro after that is my pummel macro, and just like any other macros, if I'm blade storming and I happen to need a pummel, I'll just cancel it and then we'll let me do the pummel. It's pretty cool like that. And next macro is my Bloodstone macro. Now part of this macro I have to credit to Vajira just because of the taunt in it and I'll explain why in a moment. But basically this macro will use my Bloodstone, Blood Belt or Avatar and the reason the auto attack is in there because if you spam the button it will do some auto attack damage that you wouldn't normally get so it does a little bit more damage and it helps you get more damage on your single target. And the reason the taunt is there because when you use Colossus Smash or you use your Reconcis it will switch you into Battle Stance if you're in Defensive Stance and if you want to switch back to Defensive Stance while you're Bloodstone you can't for one point five seconds but with this macro where it does is when it taunts it actually turns you into defensive stance it forces it defensive stand so you mid the blade storm you can basically go from defense stance after popping your one shot you don't have to wait that 1.5 seconds which can essentially save you a lot of damage and time in marinas so i'm just going to show you quickly here charge up here pop my one t's pop it as you've seen it was still not a global but it actually switched to defensive stance so that's a pretty cool trick that you guys can learn to keep yourselves alive a little bit, a little bit longer, especially in arenas, BGs, just all that cool stuff. And I'm going to show you a quick example of me doing that right here now. So essentially I charge in the Shadow Priest, do a little bit of damage, pop some CDs, and my battle stance, I switch defense stance by taunting him mid blade storm, and as you see I'm not taking too much damage. The next macro is my charge macro, and what this macro essentially does is, when you charge, it will remove under protection of blade storm, and it will use hamstring and render you press it again. It's a pretty cool little macro and I'll show you an example of the charge and hamstring and rend right now and then an example of the hand of protection move blade storm afterwards. So first up we're going to need some rage. So when we charge this we're not going to get any rage because it's a test dummy. We'll wait two seconds to get some rage. Wait one more second. And click again hamstring and rend on the target. As you guys see that was a one click. And now I'm going to show you an example of it removing blade storm. So here I'm doing some damage to this druid. I'm blade storming. He displays our beasts away in a second. I charge straight back on the target before he gets away and get straight back on him. So the next macro is my focus shattering throw macro. And what this macro essentially does is it will cancel our hand of protection and blade storm if I simply popped up blade storm. And if this guy over here is set to my focus, which will let's say is the healer and the paladin just bubbled, we want to shower it and basically fear or stun him straight after that. We want to continue to stay on this target and not target that guy over there. So basically what I would do is, let's say I'm here. I want to charge this guy, I want to shower that guy over there. Basically, just focus shower, haven't lost my target, and I charge this guy over there, and this guy over here is showered. So, it's an essential little cool way to have it done. I, I use that sometimes in the rain, depending on what I'm fighting and if you want to CC, especially with comps like KFC. And next macro is my focus pull on macro, and what this macro essentially does is it will allow me to keep my current target while also being able to focus pummel my focus target, but it will also cancel Han the Horror Protection Blade Storm as well. I'm going to show you a quick example over here right now. So here I'm doing some damage to this warrior, I'm waiting for this priest to cast, I know he's going to cast in a second. So I focus charge the healer, focus pummel and keep my current target and do more damage on the warrior. This macro essentially saves you a few seconds that you would need to target the current healer, therefore allowing you to do a little bit more extra damage than you would have normally been able to do and saving you a few seconds. Next macro is my focus charge macro, but it's also my focus fear macro. And what this essentially does is it will charge the current target you have on your focus and then it will fear the current target if you press it again. It also stops attack just so you don't knock it out and it cancels aura hand of protection and blade storm just in case you have them up. Here's a quick example of them both in action right now. So here I'm doing some damage to this warrior, I'm waiting for the shaman to come up over the ridge. I get stunned, trick at this, charge the shaman, fear the shaman, press it again and we're good to go and you see it. The next macros are my Mortal Strike and Bloodthirst macros and essentially what these macros do is just they just cast normal Mortal Strike or Bloodthirst but they also have an arena focus in there and the reason they have that is because you're going to be pressing these two abilities quite often depending on your spec and it will set your arena focus if say a rude Druid goes stealth or something like that just makes it a little bit easier for you because sometimes the Druid will go stealth and when you press it again it will reset your focus every time. 
Next macro after that is my Siege Breaker macro, and all this macro essentially does is I will use Ravager or Siege Breaker depending on how you spec. Next macro after that is my Shield Wall PvP macro, and what this macro essentially does is it will cancel our hand of protection of Bladestorm and it will cast Shield Wall and use any trinkets you have in for your increased health or something like that. It's a lot of tanks who spec for RBGs, this is a little good macro if you want to use that. I haven't spec tank for a while, but if you do RBGs, it's a good way to use it, give you separate life. The next macro after that is my spell effect macro, and what this macro essentially does is just cancel our hand of protection or blade storm, allowing you to spell effect. Because let's say we're casting a chaos bolt on you, and you know you're gonna die, and you're in blade storm or you're bopped, it just cancels it and reflects for you. Because bop isn't gonna save you from a cast, it'll only save you from physical damage. The next macro is my Focus Stormbot macro, and what this macro essentially does is, just like the others, cancel on a hand of protection blade storm, and it will focus Stormbot your current focus. So I'm going to show you a quick example of me doing that on the healer right now. So in this current example, I focus Stormbot the Druid, continue some damage on the Hunter, and effectively CCing and allowing us to get to the Terrence. And this is an effective way to get yourself a lot of good damage that you need and keep your current target at the same time. And the last two macros are essentially just for me, just something I like to do so I could save space on my keyboard, and just basically do a cast sequence battle show commanding show or a cast sequence commanding show battle show, just to save me some time and space so I don't actually have to have two keys on my keyboard. And there you have it guys, that's essentially all my macros. Hope you guys enjoyed the guide, I hope you learned something new. I basically wanted to keep this guide short, but eff effectively I needed to make it long just because I need to do a bit more explanation to you guys, rather than just showing you the macros, I actually want to explain them to you. So I hope you guys learned something, and I hope you guys enjoyed the guide. Hopefully you will be a bit more aware of what you're doing now with your macros, and hopefully this will help you out in some sort of way. Anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always guys, this is Evan now. I love you all, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one.